Are you, are you recording? Oh, yes. Uh, there you go. Perfect. That's how we're starting off this episode. Are we going to give Tim 10 seconds for a rumble? <laughs> <laughs> Good journey. I'm making in my, my background now. <laughs> It's going to be that majestic picture of Harambe with his hand on his on his knee. I like that you're bringing it back. You're bringing, you're bringing back Harambe. Yes. The devil is a lesbot. <laughs> <laughs> the devil is a lesbot. I still haven't put it on there. Hey, you, yeah, it's okay. You I'm going time. to. I'm in lesbians with you. I thought you were American. <laughs> Dang it. I said I was in lesbians Does, does with that you. mean you're an actor? <laughs> Dang it, Grandpa. <laughs> What's a thespian? <laughs> Thespian. Thespian. You're a homo thapian. Well, you're a. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that escalated quick. <laughs> it you're... felt like we were on a Marx Brother episode. Oh. Wow. to the Drop Culture <laughs> Podcast. Well, that Drop was culture. uncomfortable a little bit, actually. Yeah, you really enunciated was. that so Drop. well, but mm. it made it awkward. Yeah, that's all I was saying. It's a Drop Culture Podcast. All right. Hey. Yeah. This week, we're going to be tackling one of the weirdest movies I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. And that's saying a lot. Mm-hmm. The movie The Stuff, Larry Cohen's The Stuff from 1985. Wait, you mean Larry Cohen of It's Alive? Yes. And Maniac Cop? And Phone Booth. And Phone Booth. <laughs> Oddly enough, Phone yeah. Booth. Mm. But yeah. What? Yeah, like, like I was telling you, like the very first time that I, I, of course you see this movie in the in the aisles of the video stores all the time. You're always going to see it. It's always on I late night TV, shit like that, right? It's kind of right. a weird movie, right? Never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> But <laughs> don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but okay, yeah. I'm with you, man. Okay, I I, I remember it. Yeah, yes. but it but it came on my radar because I was watching a Larry Cohen documentary. Um, it was all about his movies, and I saw the stuff, and I thought, huh, I'm gonna watch that one. Definitely uh, something that that I I might enjoy, and I did thoroughly enjoy it because it was such a fucking crazy movie. <laughs> That's all it's, I gotta it's say. Something. It is yeah. just a weird movie. There's like um, there's almost an egot winner in it. Um, there's literally like an egot that I'm. So so baffled by him. I know, wow. I know, right? <laughs> wow. There's just so many people in here. Um, let's just kind of start it off. It was directed by Larry Cohen, of course. He did Black Caesar, Bone, Hell Up in Harlem, It's Alive, Bone Booth, like we said. A yeah. whole bunch of different movies. It was produced by Paul Did you say Kirk. Maniac Cop? Because Maniac they made Cop. three of those movies. I've never seen one of them, Me but neither. they made three of them. Me neither. I think I'm going to have to. Yeah, I'm not. It's yeah. Not like okay. Beverly Hills Cop, where they just keep making them until they just really yeah. fuck it up, and then yeah. they back out. It's an Arizona cop. Ma- Maniac Cop. Hmm. <laughs> Joe Arapaio's place. Pop <laughs> Lart was there. Yeah. Like, wait, what? Yeah, it's a mall cop. Oh, uh, God, no. <laughs> Paul Blart. <laughs> Bo Blart. <laughs> <laughs> but it was produced by Paul Curta. I um, thought he was going to say Blart. <laughs> I thought he was going to say McCartney. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> random? <laughs> what well, was. what's random about this guy is he produced Empire Records, too. Oh, that what? That was a weird, that's a weird coincidence. Hey, I fucking love that movie. It was a good movie, too. Everybody yeah. loves that movie. Yep. You know, yep. it's... Uh, uh, Rex Manning Day around that's here. That's right. Most April 8th, by the way, just in case you didn't know, April 8th is Rex Manning Day. Oh, that's right. Yep. Um, he did Alien Nation, Millennium, and Body and Soul. Those made-for-TV movies for (laughs) Alien Nation. Mm -hmm. Um, Of course, Larry Cohen wrote it. He wrote some weird shit back in the day. Yeah, he did. Um, The music guy, really, Anthony Guerfin. 
I don't know what you just um, said to me, little kid. He did a movie special. called <laughs> Yeah. He did a movie called Alucarda. Basically, is Dracula spelled backwards oh. with an extra A? Yeah, yeah. I've never Al- seen that one. That's kind of weird. Is he like the Spanish Al? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> Alucard. Yeah, Zorro <laughs> Al- shows Al- up for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a weird movie. Um, and then cinematography was Paul Glickman. He did Dracula versus Frankenstein in 1971. Really weird. That is weird. Um, the editor was Armand Leibowitz. He did Full Moon High, A Return to Salem's Lot, which was another Larry Cohen movie, I think, or something like that. Uh, I don't know the answer to that. Maybe, maybe. Um, and this was a New World Picture movie, too. There's a lot of yes, New World Pictures. it was definitely a New World Picture movie. What's amazing about this movie? It had a budget of $1.7 million. <laughs> Are you... S- $1.7 million was yeah. given to this movie. What wow. did they spend it on? Craft um, services? The stuff. <laughs> they Garrett, buy all a that lot goo. of yogurt. That buys a lot of it, yogurt. It has a lot of people in it. Yeah. Garrett, yeah, Garrett Morris. Um, Garrett Morris, you got some... Uh, here, let's go through the yeah, cast. Yeah, let's go through the cast. We'll do let's go that. through the cast real quick, because, again, this is like a stacked cast in a way, <laughs> because a lot of these guys actually did a lot of stuff, right? So I think, I think first off, we have to talk about Mo. Yeah. Michael Moriarty. Yes. Um, Not that Moriarty. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, he's not Sherlock Holmes. Nemesis. Nemesis. Yeah. <laughs> he, this guy is... He, I know he wore a wig throughout this whole movie, because it was an obvious wig. Yeah. He was already bald. <laughs> um, I don't think he wanted to. That was something that was in that documentary, which is weird. But his just acting style is so fucking abrasive. And, I don't know what like, you're talking about. Like this it. is an no. Emmy Award <laughs> and Golden Globe Award winning actor who also won a Tony my God. Yeah, he How? just needs an Oscar. <laughs> yeah, he just needs an Oscar and he'll have an EGOT. Yeah. He's our yeah. EGOT winner in this one. But, but he you was said on, he got a Golden Globe? Yeah. Isn't for um Emmy Golden Globe? He was on Law and Order. Oh, wait, no, Oscar Golden Globe. Tony. Oscar, yeah, EGOT. he needs an Oscar. Yeah. Yeah, what that's all fuck? he needs is an Oscar. That's nuts. A Tony? It's, it's fucking crazy. Yep. I mean, <laughs> it's seriously nuts. <laughs> it really is because he is not that good of an actor. Um, I didn't watch him on Law and Order. Um, at Maybe all, no. like I don't remember that no. show. He was on the movie Troll. I, re- I know my wife watched. No, I remember that movie. <laughs> yes. Wait, Trolls? No, 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 no. Troll. 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 <laughs> the first Troll. Yeah, yeah. Was like, the one that what? was scary. I Not guess. the ones with the hair. No, yeah. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> The Pet Rock movie that's about to come out. <laughs> pet Rock. <laughs> this is a Pet Rock movie. Yay. God damn it. I don't... He was in Pale Rider. Did you hear that? What the hell just happened to us? It was a car. That was loud. Yeah. Do we have a window crazy. open? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Maybe. Man, I thought that something was exploding. I out know, there. right? Yeah. yeah he was on Pale Rider. He was yeah. on It's Alive 3. Um, and he was on Along Came a Spider. <laughs> that was the, um, what was her name? Um, Itsy Bitsy. No, she was uh, she was the it girl for a little while. Ashley Judd. Ashley Judd. Yep, yep. Along came a spider. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think that's what it was. Yeah, um, was that the one with Morgan Freeman as well? I think so. Yeah, yeah. he might have been a bad guy or something. I don't, I don't know. know. I get all those movies confused. Oh, like, yeah, because they're all the same. Like Bone there Collector and all spider. those. I'm like, I don't know which one's which, but yeah, it was they're all right. All the same. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're ones. pretty good to watch. One good time. <laughs> See, you hear that? Somebody's yeah. like fucking clearing out their carburetors or some shit. I don't know what the fuck that is. Hey, you know what? Sometimes you got to clear them out. Sometimes you got to, like, rev them up. We are a man of two springs, after all. Um, Now, the woman in this one, she never really did a lot of stuff, but she really was in a lot of um, television shows. Um, Andrea Markovici, maybe that's how you say her name. Um, And she played Nicole. And she was on Magnum P.I. She was on one of the newer movies called Velvet Buds, B- Budsaw. I never watched Velvet Budsaw. B- Budsaw. God dang it, I can't say it. You can't say it. Velvet, Velvet Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw. Yeah. What is going on in the world? Somebody's dragging. Seriously. <laughs> Somebody's what? like, look at my hot ride. Look at my hot ride. <laughs> I got Morgan Freeman beside me. <laughs> <laughs> and then Garrett Morris, of course, was in it. He was Chocolate Chip Charlie W. Hobbs, which he was on Saturday Night Live, Conan, Coneheads. Um, he, and, was, he was Ant-Man on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, I know. And famously. he was also in Ant-Man, yes, too. Yes, he was. Yeah, he was the taxi driver. He was on How High. He did a lot of really cool bit roles but this movie is like one of my favorite things to see him in he's so funny yeah absolutely yeah, he really is pretty good in this one now 
the big, the heavy hitters coming up right here. This one's Paul Sorvino right here. Absolutely. You know, he was in Goodfellas, The Rocketeer, Dick Tracy. Um, he was the he was the head of the um, family in Romeo and Juliet. That's right. Yeah, mm. I was fixing to say the Gambino crime family. That too. <laughs> he play. He always plays a gangster in it. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't his daughter in this too, Mira? Yeah. She was just like a bit She was part. just, well, I think she just stood in. She was visiting the set and oh. they needed a stand in, like, you know, like somebody in the back. Like in the supermarket or something. Yeah, shit. something. Um, and then you got I Scott mean, Bloom. You well, do have Scott Bloom? Yeah, Scott Bloom. He was on Smoking Aces and Who's the Boss? Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Smangela. Yeah, Smangela. <laughs> <Smallison>. <laughs> Not that Who's the Boss. <laughs> <laughs> and then, now, this is another heavy hitter actor. Is it Danny Aiello? Yes, it is. Nice. Danny DeVito? Yeah. Wow. He uh, played Vickers, which was, he was on Leon, Hudson Hogg, J- Jacob's Ladder. He's been on a lot of stuff. Uh-huh. Um, did a lot of stuff, and he was afraid of his dog in this one, which is weird. <laughs> well, but, but I would be afraid was... of my dog if it was, you know, into the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and it, the old guy, um, one of the old guys in this, Patrick O'Neill, he was Fletcher. Yeah. He was on Under Siege. He was the captain of the ship, Stephen Seagal vehicle. Yeah, oh, propelled him know. into fame. Yeah. Um, the yeah. Stepford Wives from the 60s, I think. Silent Night, Bloody Night. Yeah. Um, he just fucking was all over the place, you know? Did a lot of different things, but this movie, yeah, Legit not a lot actor. of people. Yeah, yeah, not a lot of people in this movie. That guy probably could could have gotten he got. Yeah, and not instead of guy. fucking Mo Rutherford. Yeah, but I don't Mo think he, Rutherford. I don't think he got anything. No, of course not. No, uh, no. not that I noticed. Anyway. He was the arbitrary old man with white hair, <laughs> right? In every movie, <laughs> and I think you know, obviously the the biggest, you know, actor in here, maybe Patrick Dempsey. Oh yes, who's in this for? Exactly a half a second. Yeah, at least a half a second. Just standing. Yeah. Because he's uh, buying some underground stuff. He was on the movie Can't Buy Me Love. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can't Buy Me Love. Yeah. Ooh, Grandpapa. Well, and then uh, recently, wasn't he like on uh, Grey's Anatomy? Yeah, I think so. Like he was the big, like... Bless you. Dr. McDreamy or whatever. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Dr. McDreamy that everybody's like, oh my God, he's so cute. He's so cute. Uh, he played a character in the stuff. He was, he awesome. was an, an awesome geek in the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. That's all those roles that he played. Yeah, he was yeah. a lawnmower in that one movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he played a lawnmower. That's that what they call him, right? Yeah. That's what they call him. That mows lawns. Yes, 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 they do. Lawnmowers. Yeah, it's, it's David. Could, what's your job? I'm a lawnmower, but you couldn't buy him love. Yeah, you that couldn't. Part, but, yeah, yeah, he had to work really hard for it. Oh, a lawn Davider. <laughs> yes, yes, a lawn David. So the, this came out in '85, right? 1985, middle right. of the decade yeah. of the '80s, and it tr- truly um, shows its age. <laughs> whenever you watch it, the effects were pretty decent in this movie uh, as an overall. You know, effects yeah. challenge of making a blob movie because <laughs> it really is like the shaving cream movie. Yes, yeah, the oh. new blob. Oh, yeah, and he know? eats shaving cream, and I'm glad he threw up because I was like sitting there going, "Like that would be disgusting." But you didn't see him throw up either. No, but it was definitely in the back. <laughs> yes, like it, yeah. they they kind of hugged on that topic a little too much. Yeah. Just like was this necessary? Because at one point they just show a clip. There was nothing else that happened besides him going. Hey, uh, you want to roll down that window uh, yeah. now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a weird, arbitrary cut too. It's a weird cut. It just does, it does that, and then it cuts away. There's no point. Yeah, it, like you could have edited that out. And well, he got into a fine. car with a stranger to begin with. You know, he's like, "Get in, boy. <laughs> yeah. I seen a move too." <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Which is just fucking. Well, what was he gonna do? Like <laughs> yeah. stand there and wait for his family to come yeah, over? He's and like, kill no. Him or whatever? <laughs> yeah, that they sure kid, do got a lot of energy. That kid has never been taught stranger danger. No. Well, he does all the right things in this movie he, like yeah. climbs in the back of a tanker truck yeah. that's empty he's obviously nothing could go wrong there no <laughs> it's definitely yeah. not gonna get let's full get in of... the back of a milk truck you know uh, let's get inside stuff. of it <laughs> it's got stuff in it the stuff there'll be it's... stuff in it later yeah it actually didn't have any stuff in it the stuff and they were stuffing do you think there had to be like an 80s porn movie made off of this the stuff with like white stuff that you know at least yeah. yes yeah. yes okay. yeah just, of course i was like that has to have happened right yeah, yeah. that's gross yeah um <laughs> it's kind of gross to think about you know uh right. chocolate it's chip it's charlie <laughs> um he almost was played by arsenio hall though. yeah i know i saw that too isn't that crazy that was a weird what kind a, of a 
Could you imagine Arsenio Hall playing? Because Garrett Morris is like what four foot five, <laughs> um, and he's you know, all like Arsen- of two two. Yeah, and it, Arsenio Hall is like six five, yeah. and six six. I mean, he's a big guy because that Mo Rutherford dude, he's he's tall. 